in and do a video of my February favorites. So let's get started. So I just want to go ahead and say if you hear a lot of kids yelling in the background, my kids are home along with my nephew because it is a snow day. So we're having a snow apocalypse day. So you know, if you hear them, that's what it's about. But if you don't hear them, then you know it's all good. We here, we here. Long as I let you know what's going on. So um, the first thing I want to show you for my February favorites has to be in the makeup department. And I wanted to come show you um, the three palettes that I have been using over and over and over again for the month of February, or basically since I got them. And these are the Wet n Wild and Black Radiant Black Radiance palettes. And here they are right here. This one, the first one is Downtown Brown. Um, I have been loving this palette right here. It's just a beautiful color. It just has the gold, the purples, all the colors that I like when it comes to, you know, me doing a um, makeup. And then here is Comfort Zone right here. I really been loving this palette as well. And then I have Deep of the Berry, Sweet of the Juice. Yeah, here is Deep of the Berry. So I have been loving these three palettes for makeup. It's something quick and simple. And they have all the colors that I want when it comes to me doing my makeup. And on to the lipsticks. Um, I have been loving the Milani lipsticks. I have been really wearing a lot of matte lipsticks, but I found a combo for um, for women of color who have you know the same complexion as I am and want to do like a nude nudie look. Um, and it is matte naked. It's matte naked, and it's like this matte naked. And my lighting is not that good. I don't have my lighting on here's matte naked and then you just put this on top or you just get you a brown um lip pencil then you put on matte naked and then you top it off with um milani's teddy bear and here it is teddy bear right here and it is just a beautiful color i probably would do a video showing you ladies how to do a brown a cute brown nudie lip for um women of color and then my last two favorite lipsticks for the month of February has to be Cyber by MAC. And here is Cyber. And then the other one is Smoked Purple. Now I wear this a lot because it is a beautiful color. Side. This is Smoked Purple. So yes, I have been loving these lipsticks for this month. Now on to the body. Now I have been loving the Shea Moisture products when it comes to my body. But there is one specific collection that I am in love with and I will purchase over and over and over again. And it has to be the African Black Soap Body Wash with Aloe, Vitamin E Oil, and Oats. This one is just, oh my God. I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. It doesn't take that much of body wash to um, suge your whole body and to cover your whole body. And then I have the lotion as well. And these smell so good. I don't even know how to explain the smell, but this has to be my favorite line from their body collection is the um, African Black Soap one. So I would definitely suggest you ladies to go purchase this and pick them up because they are great. They are amazing. And this is my favorite one. So yeah, go try these out. And now for the hair is some Shea Moisture products. Uh, I have really been loving the um, Manuka Honey and Mephron Oil Intense Hydration Conditioner with African Rock Fig and Baobab Oil. This is from Shea Moisture as well. I only purchased this just because I love gold. Gold is my favorite color. And when I seen it, I had to pick it up. And I tried this out when I was shampooing my hair and my hair felt so, so soft. and. I loved it and I wanted to purchase it so um, I will buy this again because it made my hair feel really soft and it popped my curls out in just all the right places you know so yeah I definitely would suggest you guys to try this out you can get it at Target I think you can get it at um Walgreens now don't quote me on that I don't know for sure but I definitely know you can get these at Target um, 
and um I bought the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. I had this for the longest of time. It's just, I just now started back using it, but I do use it after every wash. I use it after every wash because like if I'm shampooing my hair, um, when I, if I shampoo my hair, I want to bring the hydration, the moisture back. So I usually use this and I use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Growth and Strengthening Shampoo. This is one of my favorite shampoos, not only because it's, uh, it's it's not like a uh, shampoo really and it does and, and because it doesn't strip my hair as well this shampoo keeps my hair soft it doesn't strip my hair it keeps the moisture in just as much as I need it and it has apple cider vinegar and I love apple cider vinegar and it has shea butter which is one of my favorite butters and so after I shampoo my hair um, I use the coconut co-wash and these two together as a combo are wonderful so I would suggest you ladies to go out purchase both of these products or one or the other and try them out they are great and for this to be like $9.99 and you get like a 16.3 fluid out right here that is a great thing to get so yeah this is, has to be my favorite one my favorite shampoo it's the African black shea moisture so and the reason and the next um, conditioner that I wanted to talk about is the Suave Professionals Humectin um, conditioner. It's almost like the Nexus. It's almost like the Nexus um, moisture line, as you can see. The reason why I purchased this is because I purchased this a long time ago when I first did my big chop, and my hair loved it when I had a TWA. But once my hair started to grow out and get fuller and more thicker, um, my hair did not like this. I don't know if it was alcohol in it. I don't know what it was, but my hair quit liking it. So I quit buying it because I bought this and I bought the um, the almond butter one. And I quit buying it. So I had gave this, the ones that I still had left, I gave it away to somebody. I gave it to my sister. And um, I just didn't want to buy it no more. It, it just didn't work for my hair at that time. But... Um, like I said before, I was using the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash and where I used to live, these were about $6, but now where I live right now, they're like 12 so I did not want to pay $12 for this little bit of jug, so I decided to go back to Walmart and you know, see what I could find, and I was like, okay, let me see if I could try this out, because I like to make sure my hair is moisturized, let me see if I can go back to this, this is cheaper, and it's only $2.50 at Walmart, and so I tried it out, and my hair loved it, my hair felt so amazing I could run my fingers through my hair I could detangle my hair my curls popped and my my hair was clean it, it felt moisturized and I don't know why I didn't go back to this sooner but I'm glad that I did so I would definitely tell you ladies to go out and try this because this will be a great for you ladies to do especially it's affordable and cheap so you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on a conditioner especially because I use a lot of conditioner so I did what Tell you ladies to go stock up on this and so the last three products i wanted to show you ladies has to be um my shea butter mix shea butter mix is my is the bomb i have made this is my second batch and i am almost gone as you can see i use this on everything and i will leave the link down below in the description box of my shea butter mixture of me my video of how i make my shea butter in case you have not seen it yet but ah yes i have a loving shea butter i use it during the summer winter whatever month spring i love it and i also been loving the coconut and hibiscus curling enhancing smoothie i love this stuff it's thick and it smells so good this is my second container of this but I will use this and my shea butter mix together um, and it's the bomb my hair stays moisturized using this too so I would definitely suggest you, you trying out making your own shea butter and trying this out just to you know keep your hair moisturized during these winter months and for my favorite edge control I do not use gel unless I'm doing a wash ago the gel that I use is eco solid gel the olive oil one but for my um, edges I love the curl paste passion fruit curl paste and we don't have the blueberry kind where I live at so but I love this one and this is my second container of this so this stuff is the bomb so I definitely, I definitely suggest you guys trying this out, going out and picking this up, because this is something that us naturalists can all use. So yes, that is all for my February 
favorites. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.